has turned on the seatbelt light. Please take your seat and fasten your seatbelts. Thank you. Dictionaries. You know them. You love them. They're the best thing when you need to know how to use a word. Now imagine a dictionary specific to your company, and you could tell people just how to use the words. And you could put the words in as many languages as you want. Amazing, right? Well, guess what? You can do that in Madcap Lingo. It's called a term base. Term bases are like a dictionary, but even better because they show you all the information a translator needs to know to translate a project. You can add definitions, context, grammar tips, even where you want a word used, like on a menu or in a table. To get started, create a new term base on your computer or on your server. If you create it on the server, you can share terms with other people you work with, which might get you some bonus points on your next performance review. To create a term base, select the Resources ribbon, then click Create Term Base. From the dropdown, choose a local term base or a server term base. If you choose a local term base, the term base will be saved on your computer. You can specify the location where you want it to be saved. If you choose a server term base, Lingo will prompt you to install SQL Server Express if you don't already have it. Once you install SQL, you can create a new server term base and save it on the SQL Server. Enter your authentication settings in the dialog, then click OK. No matter if you pick a local or server term base, once you save your term base, you can start filling it with words. There are three ways to add a term to a term base. The first is to right-click in a target segment and select Add New Term. Highlight the source term and then highlight the target term. This tells Lingo that the two terms go together. If you want to add more information about your new term, click Advanced. Select any information from the dropdowns or enter it in the fields. Click OK and you're done. The second way to add a term is within the term base editor. To do this, select the resources ribbon, then click Edit Term Base. Pick your term base from the dropdown. On this screen, you can see all of the terms in your term base. If you want to add a term to the term base, click the new term button in the local toolbar, and in the dialog, select a language for the source term and enter your term in the top field. After that, select a language for the target term and type the term in the bottom field. Click OK, and a new row is added to the grid in the editor. The third way to add terms to the term base is to import them. You can import terms from a CSV, XLS, or term base exchange or TBX file. This way, it's easy for you to store and manage your terms outside of Lingo, and then import them into Lingo when you're ready for them. To import a term base, open the Resources ribbon and click Import Term Base. If you're importing a CSV or XLS file, the column mapping dialog lets you prepare your terms for import. Use the dialog to tell Lingo what kind of information or term properties are in each column. Then specify the language that's in each column. Now that you know how to create a term base, you're ready to edit terms within it. For more about that, see the video tutorial called "Term Bases Part Two: Editing Term Bases."、Mm -hmm.